and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so that you can save your time as well as improve your problem solving skills okay so today's problem of the day is tech fest and a queue and it is a very fantastic medium level problem okay and uh, the concept which is going to be used here is cyborg resthesis so if you know that it's extremely well if you don't know that i'm gonna explain you in a very very fantastic manner okay all right so there's a lot of theory here but uh, if you will see in the last line we will be given given a and b so we will be given two points a and b and i have to return the sum of all points okay so sum of all points that will be awarded to participants so now the thing is what should be the point so for a number 12 let's say number is 12 so amount of points will be equal to sum of powers in the prime factorization of 12 okay i know i know it's a bit tricky and complex so let's go here for the first test case and now it will be very clear so for let's suppose my a is equal to 9 and my b is equal to 12 okay so first of all i have to do it for 9 10 11 12 as it is written inclusive okay so what we have to do look for 9 if we do prime factorization it will be 3 square okay so and for 10 it will be 2 raised to the power 1 into 5 raised to the power so prime factorization always it will be prime so 2 into 5 now what we have to do we have to return the sum of powers of prime factors sum of powers of prime factors for all the numbers from a to b okay so for 9 the sum of power of prime factor is what 2 okay for 10 it is 1 and 1 it is again 2 for 11 it's a 11 is a prime so it will be 1 for 12 it is what 2 square into 3 1 so 2 plus 1 3 so total is what 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 it is 8 i think the problem statement will be very clear to you sum of powers of prime factors for all numbers between a and b okay all right i think the problem statement is clear so similarly you can go through this and understand the problem in a more clear way so as usual i have written something for you which will help you in understanding this approach very clearly so let's jump on to the notes section all right so this is the problem statement and uh, it will be very clear if not so you can go through this but i think i have already explained it in a very ex very good manner okay so brute force approach is pretty simple what's the brute force approach for all the numbers between a and b i'm going to do what i'm going to find the prime factors of their powers and just going to add them. but 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 it will give me error it will give me time limit maybe exceed because we will be like calculating the same thing for many divides okay so i can store it somewhere okay so that's why what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to explain you cyborg resthesis okay what is this so if a number is prime, I've written something for you. If a number is prime, okay, let's say five. So all the multiples of five, so five will be a prime factor for all the multiples of five. Okay. So like for 10, five will be a prime factor. For 15, five will be a prime factor. For 20, five will be a prime factor. So what I can do is I can if I store, suppose I have an array. Okay, suppose I have an array and it has the smallest prime factor for each number. Okay smallest prime factor for each number let's suppose it so my, my approach and my work will be very easy for each number for a to b i will run a loop and for let's say a i got a so i will do what i will get the smallest prime factor of a let's say it is five okay so i will do what i will do a divide by five okay and it will give me something and a divided by five will give me quotient first of all so quotient will be what let's say four so it means the four power five raised to the power four and it will give me some remainder as well so remainder i will again get the prime factor smallest prime factor of the remainder okay okay okay. i think you are getting this now the approach so how are we going to calculate this array how are we going to calculate this array? Uh, let's say for 20 for 20 i have uh, written this okay now i will be distributing it in this way okay so i will run a loop first of all from 2 to 20 okay 2 to 20 now look from 2 to 20 i will get first of all 2 so if 2 is prime which is which it is 2 is prime so what i will do i will store at 4 let's say uh, fourth index i will store 2 at uh, uh, sixth index uh, i will store 2 at eighth index i will store 2 which means key it is the prime factor 2 is the prime factor of it the smallest prime factor okay the smallest prime factor 2 now again let's say for 10 for 10 this is my 10 okay so I run a loop for 2 to 20 and first of all I get 2 so I placed at 10 the smallest prime factor is 2 okay great going fine but 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 again now what I got I got 5 so as I told I will be running a loop from 2 to 20 now I got 5 so I will be filling all the multiples of 5 with 5 so now earlier it was for 10 it was 2 now it will be 5 okay it will be 5 all right it will be 5 so now all done now for 4 also let's say at 4th index 4th smallest multiple is what 2 
So two is filled. Okay. So now how I'm going to calculate? Now my number is twenty. Okay. So when I will get, when I will try to get the smallest multiple, the smallest prime factor of twenty, I will get five. The smallest prime factor of twenty is five. So look, my power. I will store my power here, and my number here. So first of all, my number is twenty. Let's make it twenty. Okay. So my number is twenty, and the prime smallest prime factor of it is what five. So I will do what twenty divided by five. So twenty divided by five is what four. So four power. No, sorry. Twenty divided by five. Okay. Twenty divided by five. So power I will increase by one. Okay. And my number new number is what four. Okay. Power I will increase by one, and new number nine new number is four. Okay, all right, great going. Now again for four, I will get the smallest prime factor that is two. So I will do what again two, and I will again increase the power by one. Okay, so again I will got two. I will get two, two. Okay, so now I will check. So for two also, the smallest prime factor will be two. So I will do again what two divided by two. Again I will increase the power of one. So if I will check for twenty, the sum of power of prime factors will be three. So it will be what two square into five raised to the power. Okay, I think I think I have already explained it in a very better way. So now let's go to the steps, and again I'm gonna explain you. Okay, all right. So using sine of elasticity, we will be calculating the sum smallest prime factor of every number till b. Okay, as I already told, how I will be calculating. After that, I will run a loop from a to b, and for each number, get smallest prime factor and get its power. Okay, get smallest prime factor and get its power. Now new number will be what? Number divided by smallest prime factor, and I will increase the power by one. Okay, I will increase the power by one. So again, I will get as I already explained earlier. So in this way, I am going to do, and at last, I will return the answer. Now, if I am going to write the code, it will be more more easy to you. But 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 before going to that, please subscribe to the channel and please like the video because I am making this video at one a.m. into the night, and uh, at least I think I deserve a subscribe. Okay, all right, now, let's jump to the code section and write the code for it. Okay, all right. So first of all, I will make some array. But look, if my b is equal to one, look for my the approach which I am going to do, it will not work for zero and one. So if my b equal to one, let's suppose if my b equal to one, so a will be always also equal to one. So there will be no prime factor because I know we know one is neither prime number nor a composite number. Okay, so I will return zero. All right, and if b is not equal to one, so if a is equal to one, again the approach which I am going to write might fail. So I will do a plus plus. Okay. It's okay if you don't understand it now. I'm gonna explain you. Now what I told, I will be making an array, okay? Array which will be storing the smallest prime factor. So I have to make it till b. So I will do something like int uh, prime fact uh, prime fact equal to new int b is long. So I'm going to type cast it to b plus one. In this way, b plus one. Why? Because let's say b will also be included. So if I'm writing five, so array should be of length six. Okay. Now I will be filling it with uh, minus one prime fact, and I will fill it with minus one. Okay. After that, what I told, I will be running a loop from i equal to two, i is less than equal to b, i plus plus, and I will be going to fill this array. Okay. So how I'm going to fill this array? If My, let me copy this prime fact. Is equal to minus one, which means it is not filled. So which of the numbers will not be filled? Those numbers will not be filled, which will be prime. Because look, what I'm going to do? Let me write this first. For int j equal to i, j is less than equal to b, j plus plus. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something like prime fact of j. Equal to y. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So we will wait this point. So what I'm going to say is, look. If I'm having 10 here, so 10 will already be filled with 2. Okay. So 10 prime factor will be 2. Okay. So this will not be equal to minus 1. But but if there is 7, so 7 prime factor there is no prime prime factor of 7. So this will be minus 1. So if it will be minus 1, I will be going this under inside this. But if it will be like something 4, so 4 is not a prime factor. How I'm going to do this with this? Because 4 will be already filled with 2. Okay. All right. So yeah. That is it. Now, uh, simply, I will be having one answer. I will run a loop from. Uh, let me type cast this to a. I will be running it till b. Okay. All right. So let's say my int x equal to i. Okay. So how how long till i will be running? Until my x number will become equal to one. So while my x not equal to one, x divided by 
prime fact x divided by so i will be basically up, updating x so x equal to x divided by prime factor we paste it here prime factor of x the smallest prime factor of x it will return and i will update my answer with one so that i have got the one power okay as i already explained it to the notes and at last here i'm just going to return my answer okay all right let's try to compile this i think it should run and it was a very fantastically explained i think as well okay uh, it's giving some error let okay uh this will be j plus equal to y why because look first of all if i is equal to 5 so i'm going to fill the prime factor of 5 with 5 then i will increase the j by 5 that is j will become 10 and the smallest prime factor of 10 will be 5 okay in that way i will be filling uh let's compile this once again i think it should run now mm -hmm. okay it's running let's try to submit it and it was a very fantastic problem. And if you still haven't understood this, I will request you to. I'm also solving it for a, after a long time, first of all. Okay. So if you still don't understand, please take a copy and pen and please try to run this once, this much, probably. Okay. And you can take a very small number that is, let's say, 13 or 14. And uh, yeah, you will be having to, you will be good to go. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I think it was a fantastic problem. And I also gave my 100% to explain you to you this. So please subscribe the channel please like the video and please share your feedback or doubt into the comment section and i'm gonna see you tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye